Hello, friends. Let's get started. We are on lesson three. Yesterday, we talked about 2D shapes, trapezoids, rhombus, rectangles, squares, things like that. Um, today, we're going to look at some three-dimensional shapes. So let's get started. I can find and name three-dimensional shapes, including and rectangular prism based on the number of faces and points. It's a lot of things to talk about. We have a rectangular prism. Okay, we're also going to be looking at a cone. And we're going to figure out what faces and points mean. Okay, so before we do that, though, we got to get our brain warmed up. So let's look. You do have this fluency in your Google Classroom today. So if you want to pause now and go work on it, you can. Uh, two minutes on your timer. You know what to do. Uh, we're also going to do a fluency here. So let's do this fluency together. And then if you want to pause and go work on it, that's fine. Remember, don't turn it in yet. Turn it in when you do your problem set and your exit ticket, okay? So let's see. Count by tens and the regular way. So let's count by tens. One ten, two ten. 3, 10, 4, 10, 5, 10, 6, 10, 7, 10, 8, 10, 9, 10, 10, 10. 10, 10 is 100. And then we can count by the regular way. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So remember, a dime is worth 10 cents. So when we count dimes, we count by tens, okay? All right, let's look at this one. Oh, it's got pennies and dimes. Remember back to our lesson when we were talking about money and we had a mix of dimes and pennies? And I said, it doesn't matter where it is, the larger the coin value or the more the coin, the higher the coin value is the one you're gonna count first. So I have a penny and I know penny is worth one cent and then I have a dime and I know a dime is 10 cents. So I'm gonna count my dimes first, ready? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 100, 1, 100, 2. Okay. Let's count this one. Remember, counting our tens first because we're counting our dimes. Dimes are worth 10, pennies are worth 1. 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. All right, friends, let's get started with our application problem. Bum, ba, da, dum, bum, bum. I've got my detective hat on today. All right, let's read it. Good detectives always read first, then we look for clues. Rose draws six triangles. Maria draws seven triangles. How many more triangles does Maria have than Rose? Guys, we can do this one of two ways. We can make a comparison tape diagram where it says double tape diagram, or we can draw it out. Your choice, I'm gonna do both. All right, Rose and Maria. I'm gonna do a double tape diagram first. I know that Rose draws six triangles. And Maria draws seven triangles. Now is seven more or less than six? It's more, so I'm gonna draw it a little bit longer. Now I can find this by saying seven minus six equals something, or I could say, nope, I wanna do seven minus six, or I'm sorry. Yeah, we're gonna subtract because we're gonna find out how many more. This is six, how many more do I need to get seven? One. So if I'd have seven and it takes six away, I have one, right? So how many more triangles does Maria have than Rose? Maria has one more triangle. Okay. Oh, I spelled, look at that. Do you see how I spelled triangle? Mm, should be L-E. I spelled triangle. <laughs> We want triangle. Okay, so let's look at it if we draw it out too, okay? I'm trying to move my picture out of my way here. There we go. Let's draw it out too. We know that Rose had six, so I'm just going to do simple 
simple math drawing. I'm not going to draw my triangles. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we know that Maria had seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So look. These are both six and she had one more. Okay. Same thing. Same thing. All right. Friends, we know that Maria has one more triangle than Rose because we drew out a picture or a double tape diagram and we subtracted with our number sentence. Nice job, friends. You may take off your detective hat. You may erase your board and get ready for our lesson today. Today we will be working with Miss Death. Now, she is going to have some 3D shapes today. I have 3D shapes. You probably don't have 3D shapes at home, and that's okay. You can just follow along. Make sure you have a board and something to write on just in case. Just in case. All right, here we go, friends. Hi, Miss Ducky. Hi, Miss Ducky. Ready to guide you to an app lesson. I am so excited to learn with you all. Today, we are going to be making 3D shapes by their attributes. Attributes. Hmm. We know what that means, don't we? What are attributes? Do you remember what mm -hmm. attributes are mathematicians? It's the characteristic. Or how we describe them, like th four straight sides or three straight sides. Actually, corners. are the defining characteristics of a shape. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Mathematicians, it's time for a memory jogger moment. This is our chance to jog our memories to really make sure we understand what attributes are before we get started with today's lesson. I will show you a shape. And when you see this shape, I want you to think about what are the attributes or the defining characteristics of the shape? Are you ready? We're ready. <laughs> Here it is. <laughs> well, mathematicians, hmm. what are the attributes of the shape? Let's pause Take it. Take a moment to think. We're going to pause it just for a second. Okay, so let's look at this. It has one, two, three straight sides one, two, three corners. So its attributes would be three straight sides and three corners. Hmm. I think that the attributes of this shape is that it has three corners and three sides. And that's what makes this shape a triangle. We that. Were you thinking that those are the attributes too? Yes, we did. <laughs> well, if that's the case, I think we're ready for our lesson. Let's do this. If you're ready, let me hear you say, Ooh, oh yeah, I'm ready. Ooh, oh yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> well, let's get started. 3D shapes are not flat. When I look at these 2D shapes compared to this 3D shape, I notice that these two shapes are flat, but this shape is not flat, or what we call three-dimensional. <laughs> That's kind of a tricky word to say. Say three-dimensional. Three-dimensional. Mm -hmm. You got it. Three-dimensional. Three D shapes. Pieces. <laughs> no, silly. Not faces face. like what we have, but this, but faces like these. This is a face. Three D shapes also have corners or points like these. Sometimes three D shapes are solids. They can also be called three dimensional. Travel with me to our virtual classroom. <laughs> Whoa! Look at all these deep shapes. Let's take some 
time to learn about each one of equations. You'll notice that there's a math word wall that we will use to help us keep track of the different vocabulary and shapes that we learned today. Hmm. What shapes should we learn about first? I got it. <laughs> Let's find out. <laughs> I'm gonna take these off. This sheet is called a cube. Say cube. Cube. <laughs> yes, it's called a cube. Take a moment to look at our cube. What are the attributes or the defining characteristics of this cube? Hmm. For attributes, be. Mathematicians, I notice that each face on this cube looks like a square. Do you notice that too? I do. <laughs> Let's count to see how many square faces there are on this cube. The bottom face is one. The top is two. The face closest to you is and the face closest to me is four. The face on the right is five. The face on the left is six. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six square faces. So we can say that the attribute of a cube is that there are six square faces. What are the attributes of a cube, mathematician? Six square faces. The attributes of a cube are that there are six square faces. <laughs> let's learn about another shape. Now let's learn about <laughs> This one, mm -hmm. this shape is called a rectangular prism. What is this shape called? A rectangular prism. Yes, this shape is called a rectangular prism. Hmm. Let's think about its attributes back positions. What do you notice are the attributes of this shape? It has faces. I notice that all the faces are rectangles. Let's count to see how many faces are on this one. The face on the bottom is one. On top, two. To the right, three. To the left, four. The face that is facing you is five, and the face that's facing me is six. A rectangular prism has six faces with faces that are all rectangles. What are the attributes of this shape, mathematicians? Six rectangle faces. <laughs> the attributes of a rectangular prism is that it has six faces that are all rectangles. Great work. Let's pick out another sheet. <laughs> hmm. Now let's learn about, let's learn about a cylinder. Say cylinder. Cylinder. Yes, cylinder. Hmm. Mathematicians. What are the attributes of this shape? It has two faces, doesn't it? But the faces are circles. I notice that the attributes of this shape is that all the faces are circles. <laughs> Mathematicians, how many faces do you see? Just two. I see two faces. One, two. So 
So the attributes of a cylinder is that it has two circular or oval bases, and they're the same size. Mm -hmm. Let's find about another one, mathematicians. This is fun. <laughs> now let's learn about a... Let's learn about a cone, mathematicians. This sheet is called a cone. What is this shape called? Cone? Yes, a cone. Hmm. Take a moment to think. What are the attributes of a cone? It has one circular face. Oh, <laughs> the point then is. I noticed that a cone has one point and one circular or oval Base. What are the attributes of a cone, mathematicians? One point and one circular face or oval. Yes. One point and one circular or oval face. Great work. We have one more shape to learn about. Let's see what it is. Well, mathematicians, now let's learn about a sphere. This shape is called a sphere. What is this shape called? Sphere. Yes, this shape is called a sphere. Hmm. This one might be tricky. Take a moment to think. What are the attributes of a sphere? There's no faces. It's all round. No corners, nothing, no points. The attributes of a sphere is that it has no flat bases. <laughs> what are the attributes of a sphere, mathematicians? No flat faces. <laughs> you got it. It has no flat faces. Great work, mathematicians. Now you've learned about a few 3D shapes and their attributes. Well, mathematicians, now it's time for a game. Ooh, a game. In this game, I will show you three shapes. Then I will also show you an attribute. I want you to think about which one of those shapes has that attribute. Are you ready? We're ready. Let's do it. Here we go. Okay. Which one of these shapes has no flat faces? No flat Point faces. Point the answer that you think is correct. Hmm, that one has a face. And the correct that answer one has is a face, but this one does a not. A sphere. A sphere has no black faces. Here's the next one. <laughs> Which one of these shapes Whoops. has two circular or oval faces? Two circular or oval faces. Well, this one has correct. no flat. This one has one, but this one has two. And the correct answer is a cylinder. Great work, mathematicians. Here's your next one. Which one of these shapes has six faces and all of the faces are rectangles? Well, the point cone is the point in one face. The cylinder has two faces that are circled, and so that means the rectangular prism. A rectangular prism. Here's your next one. Which one of these shapes has one point? And one circular or oval face. This one has a lot, but no circulars. This correct. one has circular faces, but no points. So here's one circular and face and a point. A so cone. Here's your next one. Which one of these shapes has six square faces? Well, this is not a point square. The answer that you this one is, is correct. Two squares, but it's a rectangle. This one has six square faces. And the correct answer is a cube. A cube. <laughs> that was a really fun game. Well, mathematicians, now it's time for the problem set. Your must-do problems are number one and number two. Remember to do your best work for 10 minutes. And mathematicians, if you have extra time, I challenge you to do a scavenger hunt. I want you to look around your house or your school to find objects that look similar to the 3D shapes that we learned about today. I did a scavenger hunt and I found some objects. 
add them a birthday hat. This one reminds me of a comb. <laughs> I also found a dot. <laughs> this one reminds me of a cube. <laughs> well, mathematicians, I hope you enjoyed our lesson today. Here's a cheer for all of your hard work. Um, the perfect cheer. It goes like this. Mia, Mia, perfect. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye, Miss Duckett. Okay, friends, let's look at our problem set. But before we do, look, I was looking at my cup and my cup kind of reminds me of a cylinder. Hey, see, finding them here in my classroom. All right, let's look at the problem. We're doing one and two today. Number one says, on the first four objects, color one of the flat surfaces red. Match each three-dimensional shape to its name. All right, if you do not, well, you uh, you probably color that in. Let's see. Oh, wait, that's not what I was with. There we go. There we go. Let's see. I could color in. I could just make a line on my flat surface. That way I know it's there and I don't color the whole shape. So once you do that, then you have to decide, is it a rectangular prism, cone, sphere, cylinder, or cube? And then draw my line to the box. Okay. Number two, write the name of each object in the correct column. Each one of these has a name under it. Globe, block, tennis ball, tissue box, dice, party hat, can. You need to look at shape. So globe, would it go under cubes, spheres, cones, rectangular prisms, or cylinders? Then you would type where it goes. So under spheres, I would write globe. Okay. That's all you're doing with this one, but you got to do all of them. Okay. So you're going to do the problem set one and two, color in the face, match it to the correct name, and then sort your shapes into different ones. Different colors. Then you're gonna do your exit ticket, okay? Once you finish your exit ticket, you can turn everything in at the same time, fluency, problem set, all that, okay? If you have any questions, email me. I'll see what I can do. Bye, friends.